Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1148 in Candy Crush Saga as a special dedication to Daniel, who has let me know that the board has changed. Now at first I thought I wouldn't be able to help him, because I still have 45 moves to collect 4 ingredients, it's listed as a super hard level, but he said he had 17 moves, and that's not what I was seeing until I went to a different profile on a different browser. And indeed, when you switch profiles and browsers, you can sometimes get a completely different setup and situation so it's something to try for if you've got the opportunity to try different devices or browsers to see if you can get a different situation so this is still listed as a super hard level I have 17 moves now eight ingredients but a completely different setup so we've got these things which have replaced the popcorn and oh hi firepaw um, they're now called licorice swirls and they act the same way. I have to strike them three times with something like a stripe and then they'll give me a color bomb, which is nice. Although they're in these isolated areas, it might be hard to get to places. And then we've got portals here and portals here and portals here and portals here. And I'm not sure which ones are going to correspond. We also have conveyor belt portals. That's not such a big deal. But I know that somehow I have to get these to either here or here, and these to either here or here. So I've got marmalade frosting, the licorice shells, also known as popcorn, to my disadvantage. I've got the stripes to my advantage. Uh, I've got isolation to my disadvantage. And the conveyor belts are kind of a toss-up. Sometimes they're helpful and sometimes they just get in my way. Let's see what we, what we can do about bringing down some of these stripes. Sometimes they're not automatic. Sometimes these are stingy. Uh, if I've got one on the board, maybe it won't produce any. Or sometimes it takes three turns before one will actually show up for me. Yeah, it is hard for me to see what's going on with the conveyor belts. I never quite know what to expect. I should pay attention to where things are moving, but right now it's just a little too complex for me to do that. What I want to do is use this stripe-stripe combo to hit down here. It's only going to hit this first licorice shell. It won't be able to get all the way through here. And then I can go here or here. I have the feeling it's going to be harder to reach the higher up ones. So let's do that. So see they're starting to blossom here just like when we pop the popcorn. I don't have any great moves. I'm going to take out orange because I don't have a lot of orange on the board. And now I've got a stripe. I can't quite use it. Uh, let's take out green. I don't have a lot of green here. So let's go this way. Not a lot happened. I can set this up or I can set this up. The stripe is more likely to be advantageous just on its own, and I only have 12 moves. The wrapped candy would be great if I could set it up with something else, but it could just explode right here and not be helpful. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to pay attention to where this stripe goes. Oh, hello. So it comes over here, so it can see kind of how the balance goes. I've got this color bomb now. If I could open things up, that would be wonderful. Remember, though, that this is a super hard level. I expect that this is going to take quite a few turns. The more I play, hopefully, the more I'll learn about how the board works. I could open this up, or I could open this up. This will give me a color bomb right away. I think it's good to pop this open and get more opportunity. Now, I don't have anything to set it with, but... I might get more stripes coming down. Oh, here's a stripe. How can I use that? I don't have any good moves. This is going to come down a little bit and might help some. Oh, or I'll just set it off there. Hmm. Again, we're going to try to use these stripes up as much as we can. So far, no ingredients captured whatsoever. So yeah, Daniel, I do understand why you're having difficulty with this. I, I wish they hadn't changed it. Although the other one was super hard as well. It's, it's hard for me to know which one is more difficult at this point in time. But this one, it ain't easy. I didn't even get to figure out which way the uh, ingredients go. But whether they come down 
you know, through these portholes or these portholes. I don't think that matters too much. So, yeah, that's it for me. But I think that the strategy is going to be the same. Try to make as many stripes as possible and just aim at these and try to clear this out as quickly as we can. Once we get one area cleared out, it might help us to clear out all others. Pay attention, especially when we get some luck. Some of these boards require luck, but I can take a lucky board and ruin it by playing poorly. So even if it's one that requires luck, I still have to be diligent to make the best choices possible. So I'm going to slow down. Since I only have 17 moves, I've got some time to look and consider what might be the very best move. And then, of course, making combos is going to be the way to go if I can manage to make combos. I now know a little bit more about how the conveyor belt works and how the dispensers work, so that'll help me plan my moves as well. I'm going to come back with a new board, but with no sound until there's something important to say. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to leave this as, as instructive, even though it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make it. Because what I've noticed is that I don't have to get through all of these licorice shells in order to win. I just have to make a path for the ingredients. So clearing out the frosting is integral. The problem is I want to clear out this frosting and this frosting I can't because of this shell. So if I had the shells cleared, I'd be able to get to the frosting a bit better. And I know that's not a huge difference to the board, but every bit of knowledge that we can obtain is going to mean a greater chance of success for us. Especially if I can do something like get a color bomb, color bomb combo, if I do happen to open two of these up, that would then zap all of that frosting and give probably a path for all of the ingredients. So now I have a new goal to look for, a color bomb, color bomb combo from these guys since I don't have five across. So I'm going to turn off the sound again and keep going and try to get this done with my newfound knowledge.
Okay, so there we go. That is how I managed to achieve success, is focusing on getting a couple of those color bombs. So in total, that took me seven tries to get it done because I discovered that uh, bit of strategy on, I don't know if it was the third or the fourth try. That's how I did it. Hopefully you can manage the same thing. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you folks consider liking and subscribing. Remember, if you can't manage it and you want to try to go over to another opportunity, you can check all your devices and browsers and see if you can get back that original scheme that was set up before, although that was super hard as well. And as always, folks, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.